Number 18, radio telescope has a parabolic surface. It is 30 feet deep and 200 feet wide. How far is the focus from the vertex? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. So first, let's figure out what uh, is a parabola. Let's figure out what equation we're going to use. It's a vertical parabola, so I need the P to be next to the Y. That's what makes this vertical. So this would be a horizontal. This is vertical. So I'm going to use that formula. We're going to use X minus H squared equals 4PY minus K. Now, because this is a practical application, I get to choose where I want the center to be located. We gonna, we're going to choose the origin, as it kind of shows in this graph. I'm going to say this is 0, 0. So now, I can plug that in here. If this is a 0, and this is a 0, my equation simplifies to become X squared equals 4PY. Now, we want to know how far is the focus from the vertex. If you're not sure, when it says this, the focus, that's referring to the P. That's what P finds. It's the distance from the focus to the vertex. That's what P is. So we are solving for P. How do I get P? I plug in one of these two points. And it shouldn't matter which point we plug in, whether it be this on the left or this on the right, because the X value, when I plug in, no matter if it's positive or negative 100, I'm going to square it, which is going to turn it positive. Over here, I'd have 4P times Y, which is 30. So 100 squared is 10,000. 4 times 30 is 120. Now to get P by itself, I divide by 120. So 10,000 divided by 120 is the same thing as 1,000 divided by 12. Let's go to the calculator and see what that is. I'm clear this out. And so I'm going to say 1,000, 1, 2, 3, divided by 12. And to get it as a fraction, what we're going to do is we get this, or not as a fraction, we have it as a fraction. To get it as a decimal, we're just going to put a decimal right there. It's 83 and a third, continuing on. This says to round to the nearest tenth of its foot. So P, since it actually equals 83.3 repeating, we're going to just say that our answer will be 83.3. 83.3. And so this is how our value would look. 83.3.